In this video, we'll talk about how we can take GeoTab assets, exceptions, and trips and display them in ArcGIS. So, on my screen right now, we're looking at a live ArcGIS Online database. And from here, you'll notice content that we're bringing in to ArcGIS. Now, we're bringing in the content utilizing Add Layer from Web. So, this will let you overlay the exceptions, trips, and assets on your existing. ArcGIS online uh, maps. So taking a look at this, uh, you can see I've, as I zoom in, I can highlight the assets and the way they're grouped. Just talking a little bit about the icons themselves, y you'll notice if they're stopped, they're in a star pattern. If they're moving, they'll be in a triangle. And we also have the ability to adjust the icons based on group as well. You can also display and not display zones if you wish. So you can see I can just turn it off, on and off displays, labels, as well as any group. So if I wish to only show a specific group, just like in GeoTab, uh, I would kind of hide those groups. And you can see it's kind of hiding those groups right here. Talking a little bit further, so now we're talking about a couple of use cases. Let's say we want to know uh, where vehicles plowed or did a patrol based on, uh, based on uh, your drivers. So you can actually show exceptions history as well. So in this exceptions in GeoTab, we're, we're, we obviously define a number of different rules, such as speeding, uh, conditions such based on auxiliary conditions, such as plow up, plow down. Uh, based on that, you can identify where that activity happened, right? So if you have a plow down condition, you'll notice there'll be a plow down condition here. And you can review that against the actual roads that need to be plowed, right? And right now, I'm displaying all the data for yesterday, but I can also display data for today. Uh, as well as even a closer uh, period here by looking at that here as well. And it'll just be displaying for the groups that I've selected uh, where this event happened, right? Again, I can combine the groups uh, together to display that. And so right now I'm displaying that. So I can, again, just turn off the groups here and I can turn off where these exceptions are happening. Lastly, we can also show trip history. So trip history comes in handy where we want to look at patrols, want to look at where where the activity is happening. And again, I'm looking at, can highlight devices. And if I want to look at a trip history for today, I can highlight yesterday, today. Uh, and just kind of zooming in here, you can see where this activity is happening. And what you'll notice is a light blue line highlighting the actual trip history and where it's happening. you also notice stops represented in these boxes here as well. So this gives you a quick understanding of the ArcGIS integration we have and we certainly can extend the integration. Um, that's something that you can talk to our solutions team about. Uh, but that gives you an overlook of GeoTab to ArcGIS integration.